Hi guys. Happy Monday. Um, very exciting for today's live. Um, while I wait for everyone to join in, I'll tell you a little bit about my history with vitamins and supplements. Um, if you have been with me on this page for a while, then maybe you've heard the story before, but talk to my college roommates and they will tell you the same. Um, in college, I was the person that had like converted my bookshelf, you know, the standard issue student bookshelf, um, and took it and converted it to my vitamin wardrobe. Um, yes, I was, I was really interesting <laughs> that way. We are waiting for Dr. Lauren Crosby who, oh, she's here with Persona Nutrition to join the live. I'll finish my story after she's on. Dr. Crosby, exciting. Pediatrician extraordinaire. Hi. Hi so again. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. I was telling Good. the people, I'm so excited for our live today. I There is so much to dive into with you about the, I just honestly, like the science of vitamins and supplements and nutrition uh, through supplementation and how to choose the right ones for your family and for kids specifically. This is something that I get asked about all the time. Um, but I was just telling them a quick story and then we're going to dive in which was just that in college, I had like this wardrobe of vitamins that I, you know, I went to the health food store and picked up a bunch of different things that I thought I needed. And it was on the one hand, I found when I took my vitamins, I felt amazing. My energy was better. My hair, skin and nails were better, especially back then when, you know, you're going through all kinds of hormonal shifts and people's skin oftentimes in those teenage range of years don't look the best. I felt amazing when I took my vitamins, but it was complicated to go through all 20 bottles and pick out the ones I wanted to have which is part of one of many reasons why I do love my persona packs because they just make it so simple. But you and I are going to dive in today on just like supplementation in general to begin with. Um, people have tons of questions they've been writing to me with just like how to choose the right ones, what to look for, what to avoid. Mm -hmm. um, and then specifically you being the pediatric expert that you are, how to make sense of the bevy of options out there for kids. Because I think a lot of us are parents who are, um, you know, just just want to give our kids something they will actually take, but all and that we, they will experience real benefit from. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I think is super important to highlight here too. Is a lot of what I a lot of what I've seen out there for kids doesn't seem to have a whole lot of um, scientific underpinning mm -hmm. to it, and it feels kind of generic, right? Like you want something that's actually tailored to your kids' needs too. So yes, yeah, I will finish true. talking and let you introduce no, yourself. No, it's good. <laughs> no, it's great. No, it's a perfect <laughs> intro. So hi everyone. Um, thanks for joining us. I'm Dr. Lauren Crosby. I'm a practicing pediatrician, general pediatrics. I've been doing it for 25 years. I'm in Los Angeles, California, and I went to medical school at UCLA. I trained at Cedar sinai I was pediatric chief resident there. I'm on staff at Cedars now. I have raised two boys. Um, they both went to Berkeley, and I love talking about nutrition and eating and kids, just like you did. So, <laughs> perfect. Perfect. See? perfect. Match yes. made in heaven. That's right. <laughs> yes. um, so you're, you're, so your your kids are grown, but you have obviously shepherded them through the you know the phase of life that I'm in right now, mm -hmm. and that I think a lot of people tuning in um, are probably in right now. But let's talk about like, did you give your kids supplements? Was it mm -hmm. valuable to you? And I mean, obviously, you live in this, you live and breathe in this world. So um, at the time, what you know, how do how did you think through that experience? You know, I did because I, I I do believe in vitamins. Parents ask me every single day. And then they actually say to me, show me what I should take. Pull it up on your phone. They take yes. a screenshot from my phone. Because it's confusing. Because you it's go and so you go confusing. to a, a, a store typically and it's like, oh my, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like six aisles of things. Mm -hmm. How do you even begin to choose the right, make the right yeah. choice? Yeah. I mean, I've had parents bring in like a duffel bag of all the vitamins they have in their house. <laughs> and they're seriously, they lay them out on my exam table. They're like, what should we do with these? I'll, yes. I'll go through and I'll, I'll look at the labels. Some of them don't have very much in them. Some of them have too much junk in them that we don't want. Correct. So I say yes. And I did give my kids vitamins. I had one who was a picky eater. I had one who loved vegetables from birth. So I'm like, you know, I had like the combo, you know, the little one was like, is this healthy? I'll eat it. And the other one's like, it's green. I don't want it. So I've definitely dealt with it. And I think there's a lot of reasons we want to use vitamins, right? So one is because we need to fill those nutritional gaps that who eats yeah. perfectly every day? Who, I mean, really, you try, you do your best, but you don't eat perfectly every day. And if you have a kid who's a little bit picky or won't eat anything that's green or hates fruit, I have patients mm -hmm. who won't even eat fruit. 
You can just fill those. That's gaps. my daughter, my really? my oldest, Philomena. I can't get, I cannot get my head around it because also she was the kid that ate absolutely everything until she was like two and a half on the dot, and then all of a sudden she had all her choices that she didn't like anymore. Mm -hmm. But fruit was one of those things that she just won't touch. Um, mm -hmm. People are amazed by that, right? So then you, you, you're missing stuff if you're not getting all those micronutrients, not just the actual vitamins. There's so many things, but you can get a lot of things and fill those gaps. So it is good to do that. And even if they're not picky, you don't eat perfectly every day. Same for me. So I always gave my kids the, the vitamins. And I think also yeah. relieving the parental stress, like where you're like, I can give them something that like these taste good. We know they're going to take them. And then you can be like, okay, at least... They didn't eat any vegetables today, but we have something, you know? No, that's how I feel about it. It's insurance policy for me. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, I love to cook, love to eat, work really hard to make sure my kids know that um, that eating fun and exciting and different foods is part of being our family and part of, uh, you know, just it's really exciting to get to do those things. Um, but it doesn't always work. And there are definitely days that, uh, you know, I'm just horrified by the lack of really vital nutrition coming from their food, mm -hmm. uh, especially, you know, when it, when life gets pretty busy and you're out of your routine, which a lot of us are in the summertime. So I look at supplements sure. for my kids as, you know, when there's, when they need a major immune boost, which, you know, I, I look at sort of, I have, I have the things that I give my kids throughout the year, just as like feed the soil, make yeah. their bodies as, um, as awful for like disease and bacteria right. and problems as possible by making it really strong and robust from the immune perspective. And then there are things I give as a boost when I feel like they're getting sick. But, mm -hmm. but that sort of insurance policy is critical. And I will tell you, it might not surprise people to hear this. My kids are like, are pretty adventurous for the most part. And I have given them those awful tinctures and things that just taste mm -hmm. like total witch potion. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And that. they, they tolerate it sometimes. And sometimes it ends up being spat right back at mm -hmm. me on my face. You know, I wear like a smock now to put, to put anything at them. Um, you know, whenever that has to happen. But part of what I was so excited uh, about when when Persona was launching these gummies that we're going to chat a little bit about today mm -hmm. is, and I actually have this, this is the immune support one for kids guys. And you can see how delicious and yummy they look right they in here. Are. And Something I will tell right you about here. <laughs> oh, you see, I know. And mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'm, I want to talk about the glow getter pack too, which yes. is, and they have a bunch of different formulas, but the glow getter pack is for grownups and it's to just boost your glow from the inside out, which I do love. Um, mm -hmm. that, that's my box that I just tear into from the top because I, um, I just had to get at it as fast as possible. But, um, you know, I was really, I, I wanted to be able to give my kids their vitamins without having them fight me. Mm -hmm. And I want it, especially as a daily underpinning resource, that sort of insurance policy attitude. And I didn't want to do it in a way that was basically just giving them candy. So mm -hmm. many things I accidentally picked up off the shelf thinking it was like a vitamin D boost or a vitamin C boost, those mm -hmm. things that a lot of parents know to look for it ended up being way more sugar than any, you know, viable or um, important level of nutrition. And I was so pumped. I just, I do want mm -hmm. you guys to know this because, you know, if you're like me, you've gone and you looked at every nutrition label out there. All of the Persona gummies are free from GMOs, artificial sweeteners, artificial colors, peanuts, tree nuts, milk, egg, shellfish, wheat, gluten, soy, sulfite, sulfates, mm -hmm. and sesame, no added sugar, and they still taste like candy, which is ridiculous in my mind. And exactly. And instead of added sugar, why do they taste good, right? Because they use a prebiotic fiber as the sweetener, and it's right. called inulin, and it's natural. It's from chicory root, and it gives a good, creamy, yummy texture. These do taste like a treat. I love how they taste. My family loves how they taste. And yes, though, my sons are older because of the pandemic. I had the the college one living with me for years. Ah, so he true. has benefited from, he's like, I'm going to take these too. So yes. I love that. Yeah. So we all have them. And, and the other thing that's really great about inulin is, you know, if you have a picky eater, right, they often don't poop very well. So I deal with constipation a lot in, in patients, in kids in I general. I love that we're going here, by the way. I love that you're a pediatrician <laughs> and we're like going right to the poop conversation, which I'm telling you. <laughs> is one of the, I think the best um, uh, tests to see how like the, the insides are functioning. Mm -hmm. I mean, my dad talks about it all the time. Like, look at the poop shape. What does mm -hmm. it look like? So no, we're going it's there. true. He does. And I've seen that and I'm like, I get it, you know? Yeah. And it's true. I mean, I was 
at work on Saturday, I was on call and someone called about their kid who's pooped who are hard as a rock and then and then I'll just, so it's a really common problem in kids, not only because it causes pain, not only because they're yeah. probably not eating the best they should, but also because it decreases their appetite, right? So when you're constipated and you're full of poop, you're not hungry, you don't Correct. feel good. And then you get way behind on all your nutrition. So what's nice about these is they actually also help you poop because they have the prebiotic fiber, it's good for your gut health, right? So your gut microbiome, it feeds your good bacteria to help keep you more regular, helps things move through to help your appetite. So it does a lot of good stuff too, which, so, which no, can you're, also help. You're hitting all the main concerns, especially with little kids of like, of just, uh, you know, what you look for every day as a parent, you're just trying to make sure they're eating enough and that they're getting the stuff they need to thrive and to grow and that they're comfortable. They don't mm -hmm. feel sick and stuffed up, which I, you know, I've with four kids, I've definitely been there before. And I, um, I think a lot of us probably need, <laughs> need like more fiber than we're getting. Yeah. So starting at a young age is great. Let's talk a little bit about um, just like, you know, from a, from just that sort of healthy soil standpoint, what are the things that most children probably need to be getting in supplement form just based on like the standard American diet and the standard way that little kids are eating. So, you know, one of the big ones that it's become like everyone kind of talks about vitamin D now and it came to the forefront during COVID, right? Mm -hmm, because we're mm -hmm. like, we actually know it's good for your immune system. But I also know based on blood tests that I do, when I draw blood on kids for whatever reason, I throw in a vitamin D level and yeah. they're low. They are low. So, 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 and then so many vitamins that they are take. Oh, well, they take a supplement. Well, how many, how much is in it? And they show me, I'm like, it's not enough. Right. So these I worked on, like, I know what's in these. These have really great bioavailable vitamins, including D and D is so important. We've got school starting soon. We've got to think about those immune systems once again. And there are sick kids once again, you with, as a mom, and then me with all our patients. You know, it's, we want to get that immune system good. So we know what's in these and we know they're absorbed well. And we know that they have really good amount of D. It's hard to get D from foods. You know, there are some foods that are fortified, orange juices, some milks, some grains, some cereals, but to actually get the right amount, you really need to take something. So there was a question coming in as you were speaking mm -hmm. um, from uh, Crystal Maureen, 68. She wanted to know if her three-year-old granddaughter can take these, this, this, what's the age range on these? So that say? is a great question. Okay. And yeah. so soon she'll be able to take it. So the kids' ones are four through 12. So four through very 12. Oh, soon, so she's getting yes. close. <laughs> yeah, she's almost there. And then the teen one is 13 through 17. So we have uh, two separate kinds. So we have the teen and the kid. Yeah. And, and, and don't forget about the grownups and the, oh, the grownups. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, actually, I will tell you, just kind of holding the box here, I'll tell you. And then I'd love Dr. Crosby, if you just want to like, because you mentioned there's the kids versions, um, which there's an everyday formula. And then mm -hmm. there's also the immune boost formula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's the teen selections and the adult selections. Do you want to just like quickly give the sort of mm -hmm. overview of the buckets? Because I thought this was really powerful too. Like teens specifically, you're dealing with probably, you know, acne and hormonal imbalances, mm -hmm. you're dealing with focus being a big mm -hmm. thing that you mm -hmm. want, you know, just mood regulation, um, immune boosting, like, I'd love just sort of a, if you would take us through some of the formulas that are in the gummies range. Definitely. No, definitely. So the, the kid multi, it's great. I have actually some of them back here. So it has your multivitamin and it has the extra C and the extra D that you need when we're talking about mm -hmm. that. Plus they have an immunity one and you can take that in addition to your base multi. So the kids get lots of little treats, which is good too. But it actually, and what's nice is, you know, I looked at all the levels of everything and they all are safe, safe, safe. So it's just a little extra as a boost, which is great. Now, if you're talking about like the teen one, again, as you said, teens have different needs. Little kids are different. Teens are different. They're going through a lot. They're going through growth spurts, right? So they mm -hmm. need more of the D. So we, we kind of curated it based on their needs. But also we have our, our focus teen, which is really great. Like teens right now, especially I feel like they're focused when they're on their phones all the time and they're shifting all of their, they're like, I've seen it. They're like on their computer and then they're texting and they're doing all these things. It messes with your focus. Like, yeah, it's really, you know, and then they've got to get back into real school soon and they need to focus. So this actually has a, a component called phosphatidylserine in it. We abbreviate it PS. It's actually already found in your brain, an abundance in your brain, a key role in your cell function, your 
cell communication. So it's very important. It can help with memory. And then also what's nice is it has saffron in it. And we've heard of saffron. You've heard of saffron. You've probably cooked with saffron a lot. <laughs> as a it's sparingly. It's very expensive. Right? Exactly. <laughs> it's extremely expensive. It's, it's ridiculous to harvest. But it's actually research studies are showing that the saffron is really good for mood as well as even healthy weight. And teens are moody. Even your best teenager is moody sometimes. And that's normal. But, you know, it'd be nice to balance it out a little sometimes. This may give them help. And it, and it does taste really good. And they're in these cool little packs. So, which, yes. which does make it and, um, and sustainably packaged and, and everything recyclable, which I think, you know, people are, are focused on because you want to use these every single day. Mm -hmm. Something you hit on that I thought was really important. One person had asked, um, are they tree nut and peanut free? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. All these persona gummies mm -hmm. are tree nut and peanut free. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, it was just the sourcing of these kinds of ingredients and these ingredients at an efficacious level where mm -hmm. you're really going to be getting the benefit from them. And that right. is something that initially drew me as, as a taker of persona vitamins, just that like you can go on the website and um, personanutrition.com and actually see like here's the here's the concentration of product here's where it's sourced from here's where we're getting it from here's how right. we process it so there's a real um like if you're you know you're going to invest in a, a wellness strategy like this there's a real and and they have medical teammates like yourself who, yes who just have gone to the extra level of making sure these are safe quantities and efficacious quantities mm -hmm. and in in a in a bioavailable format like you discussed which i thought was mm -hmm. super important mm -hmm. super transparent which i like and also like when, and for the adults, and we're gonna be doing some more customization for the kids, but even for the adults, as you know, you go on there and you take a quiz and the, it's brilliant really. And it's short and it's fun actually. Cause you think about yourself and like, oh, I am doing this or should I do this? And they ask you everything about your health, what medications you're taking. And you know, do you have headaches? Do you have insomnia? How are your bowels as we talk? And then they customize for the adults, which is really neat. I love this. And we talked yeah. a little bit about the no list, about the things that mm -hmm. were like, no go, never going to happen in persona gummies, all, you know, the added sugar, no GMOs, no artificial colors, et cetera. Because I think when you're, when it comes to choosing the right thing for anyone in your family and especially kids, you want to leave out mm -hmm. the, the nasties and, and really boost the quantities of what's good. Um, and so Absolutely. I think that the, you know, I'd love if you, uh, if you would be okay with it, to let some of the audience ask some of their questions. The first one that came up, which I thought was was really interesting. Well, uh, there was one, there was a couple that asked why vitamin D quantities are so low in children mm -hmm, across mm -hmm. the board. What what yeah. would what, what would you say about that? It's a brilliant question. So we're indoors a lot, right? So mm -hmm. the the only the real natural source of vitamin D it's made in your skin, and that's upon exposure to sunshine, right? So you have to be outside a lot. People are inside more. Everyone's doing virtual school. Everyone's right. We're all indoors on our computers working all day. I'm inside seeing patients. I don't, I'm not, you're not, you're just not outside getting that sun, but also you want to wear sunscreen when you're outside, right? For skin cancer is very serious, premature aging, who wants that? So you're, you're protecting your skin and then you're not making as much vitamin D too. So there's a couple of reasons. And so that's really why people are deficient. I, well, yeah, I think it's, <laughs> it's, it's that, that trade-off of like, mm -hmm. I need to stay inside. I need to slather myself in sunscreen mm -hmm. whenever I go outside. And then at the same time, that's your body, your, your skin physically makes vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, you know, you, I guess you, you have to supplement. And I do, whenever I go out in the sun, I live in Florida, so it happens more regularly, but especially like I try to go out sometime between eight and 10 a.m., and mm -hmm. do just 20 minutes of sun exposure with no sunscreen to mm -hmm. try to boost mm -hmm. the natural processes. But the mm -hmm. supplementation has been critical for me and for my kids and knock wood across the board. We are way sick. We are way less sick or sick less often than yes, so yes. many of my friends who talk to you about like every, you know, every right. day it feels like the kids are coming down with mm -hmm. something new. Mm -hmm. And you know, the other thing about D in the sun, I just like people to know is you may be out there, but depending on your own body, your own skin and your skin tone in particular, some people make more D than others. So it's Correct. very variable also. So. so many amazing questions coming in. First one is, um, uh, Dr. Crosby, do you have a website? People want to come and pepper you with a million more questions. <laughs> so so our, the website, I don't have a personal one. I have my practice one. So yeah. that one is our, our Beverly Hills practice with our six doctors on it. So it's not really an open for questions one, but people often will message me. So at Dr. Lauren Crosby, uh, you know, I have my Facebook and I have my Instagram, so I have a YouTube channel. So 
Perfect. Yes. And yes. there's lots of questions about learning more about the persona gummies mm -hmm. and personas, um, sort of personalized approach to nutrition supplementation in general. And you can go to personanutrition.com for all of that. And also to take the quiz that you talked about anxiety. Yes. This is like 50 questions about anxiety, oh, especially when we started talking about, yes. about teenagers. But I feel yes. like, again, from my group of friends, like anxiety starts young, especially now kids have been through a lot this year. Mm -hmm. um, and I think as, as moms and as parents, we're so clued into that. Um, any supplements that are helpful for yeah. anxiety any you know, the focus pack obviously is a really yes. interesting one, but what are your thoughts yeah. on that? Well, I think having good general nutrition is key. Plus, you know, also fish oil is very good. And so I find that any, you know, that's part of our a regimen for like mood and anxiety. If you look up some of the natural treatments, it's also having your omega threes in addition. So those are good too. But a lot of the anxiety besides, you know, we've been locked up and all of that is screen time really triggers a lot of anxiety. I find when kids mm -hmm. have been on screens a lot, playing tons of video games a lot, they're, they're just amped up and it's not the real world. And so that's why I also am like set limits on those screens to help, you know, if you're doing two hours of screen time, because maybe you're talking with your friends and playing a video game, then they need to balance it with two hours of reading and exercise. Like you need to have a balance, everything in moderation. I, I mean, yes, <laughs> the goal, uh, that the is goal. the goal. That is absolutely the goal. And I, I anecdotally, I've seen that to be the case for sure. Like, and I, you know, we really try to avoid screen time as much as possible mm -hmm. in our family, mm -hmm. but you know, sometimes you're, you, you've got a million things going on. You just need them to be somewhere safe and like staying in one place for absolutely. 15, 20 minutes. And, um, and you, if, if I don't, if I don't buttress that with like an, an equal or more, mm -hmm time outside, mm -hmm. physical play, being in the swimming pool, like whatever it is. Yes. I notice a major mood shift. Um, yes. Last major. The last major question for you was about um, anything to boost sleep for kids. I think part, it's probably hand in hand with the anxiety piece, but yeah. um, some people had asked melatonin, some people had mm -hmm. asked about magnesium, any thoughts about supplementation yes. for sleep in children? Well, so first, of course, we want to get to the root of the sleep problem, right? You just don't want to band-aid it with a supplement. There's a reason mm -hmm. they're not sleeping well. And so I always go through all of your sleep hygiene and your sleep routines and what, and they're often not getting enough exercise during the day and they're not tired. They right. So they run generally. ragged. Yeah. You got to wear them out. One of the best treatments <laughs> for insomnia is exercise. Adults and kids. So I'm like, how much exercise do you get? They're like, oh, he's in his room all day. I'm like, well, number one. So then you just band-aid it. But we are working on some kid supplements in this area. So we are going to be doing that. But I do allow some melatonin. I like to put a limit on it. I like to wean them off it because there are kids who do need it and their anxiety is high and you can't just run it out on the at the park. So sometimes you do need it. So I do recommend some of that. And magnesium, I have some patients that we go through how much magnesium and we try that too some kids respond better to one than another so it's sometimes it's it's trial and error or you need to rotate them they're like i've been on you know i've taken a lot of melatonin let's wean off let's try something else so you have a couple things you can try but in general they're safe but it's always good to talk to your doctor uh, amazing and yeah, no, i um that we there's i mean people are have so many questions to ask and i get it it's because it I, I think the world of supplementation and the world of figuring out how to take good care of your body on a daily basis. So you're, so you avoid, or at least help to ameliorate some of the sort of chronic things families mm -hmm. deal with. Mm -hmm. It can be really confusing, um, which is yet another reason why, and I, especially if you want to make a habit of it, I think it's really important to find a, um, a, a practice that is easy and self-explanatory and straightforward part of, you know, and, and customized to you as much mm -hmm. as possible. So you're taking exactly what you need and not what you don't. I see some people asking here about vitamins over 60. I see people asking about insomnia or, or you know, skin glow, all of these things, right? Trust me, just go to percentnutrition.com, take the quiz and you will be able to just to get a lot of insight. Um, it's free to take just a lot of insight about what your body specifically needs. Um, and to be able to personalize those packs is huge. And that's part of why the gummy situation I think is also really exciting because this is a much more specific and tailored experience of gummy mm -hmm. taking than I think you typically find on a grocery Absolutely. store shelf. 
which is really exciting. No, I will true. leave you by just telling you that the Glow Getter Adult, which is my personal favorite formula in the Persona um, Gummies range, because it's all about glowing from the inside and the outside. It does help promote focus as well. You get to eat these five delightful little gummies. Um, again, no sugar added. And I did want to just tell you guys that you should tune into my page a little later this week because I will be doing a $1,000 giveaway with Persona gummies. So you will definitely want to get in on that, um, whether you've got kids or teens or want to scoop up some of these yummy packs for yourself. Dr. Crosby, you are a dream and such a wealth of information. I'm so appreciative of your time and answering so many of these questions. Leave us with one last little tidbit, which is like from an expert's perspective, what is the either the best piece of advice you give parents or the most important thing you learned as a mom, just help us out on a Monday. Well, I would say a couple things. One, I tell the, the families, look at what your kid eats over the week, not the day, because we all have crappy eating days where you're like, at, you know, whatever. If you get your fast, fine. It's fine, you know, because some people panic. Like he, ate, he didn't eat any vegetables for two days. I'm like, it's fine. Look at the week, not the day. So that's, and then the other thing is, you can take your supplement at least and know that you're covering the bases. So I think those are the key things. Awesome. Thank you and so much. we should much. do this again because we have so many I, questions. <laughs> so many more things to cover. We will do it again. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Definitely. guys. Thanks for tuning in, Dr. Crosby. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kathy. Bye, guys.